Here is a wise virgin from among the number of the prudent, who went forth with lighted lamp to meet Christ. Alleluia. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The grace of our risen Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God, and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. And with your spirit. Today the church celebrates the memorial of St. Catherine of Siena, a virgin and doctor of the church. She is the first woman and the first layperson to be named a doctor of the church. As well, Mass today is being offered for the repose of the soul of Bishop Emilio Alloway. Bishop Alloway was ordained a priest of the Salesians of Don Bosco and was named an auxiliary bishop of Boston in the 90s. He uh, contracted COVID-19 and passed to the Lord on April 26th. He was uh, the celebrant for confirmation here at Immaculate Conception my first year in May of 2018. And so uh, the Stoughton High seniors this year who went to Immaculate Conception or go to a uh, Immaculate Conception uh, would have been confirmed by him. He is being buried today by Cardinal Sean. As we come before the altar of God, let us acknowledge our sins and so prepare ourselves to celebrate the sacred mysteries. I confess to Almighty God and to you, my brothers and sisters, that I have greatly sinned in my thoughts and in my words in what I have done and what I have failed to do. Through my fault, through my fault, through my most grievous fault. Therefore I ask Blessed Mary, ever virgin, all the angels and saints, and you, my brothers and sisters, to pray for me to the Lord our God. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Lord have mercy. Christ have mercy. Lord have mercy. Let us pray. O God, who set St. Catherine of Siena on fire with a divine love in the contemplation of the Lord's passion and her service of your church, grant through her intercession that your people participating in the mystery of Christ may ever exult in the revelation of his glory, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. Amen. A reading from the first letter of St. John. Beloved, this is the message that we have heard from Jesus Christ and proclaim to you. God is light, and in him there is no darkness. If you say we have fellowship with him, while we continue to walk in the darkness, we lie and do not act in truth. But if we walk in the light as he is in the light, then we have fellowship with one another, and the blood of his son Jesus cleanses us from all sin. If we say we are without sin, we deceive ourselves, and the truth is not in us. If we acknowledge our sins, he is faithful and just, and will forgive our sins and cleanse us from every wrongdoing. If we say we have not sinned, we make him a liar, and his word is not in us. My children, I am writing this so you may not commit I am writing this so that you may not commit sin. But if anyone does sin, we have an advocate with the Father. Jesus Christ, the Righteous One. He is the expiation for our sins, and not for our sins only, but for those of the whole world. The Word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. O bless the Lord, my soul. Bless the Lord, O my soul, all my being, bless his holy name. Bless the Lord, O my soul, and forget not all his benefits. O bless the Lord, my soul. He pardons all your iniquities, he heals all your ills, he redeems your life from destruction and crowns you with kindness and compassion. O oh, bless the Lord, my soul. Merciful and gracious is the Lord, slow to anger and abounding in kindness. He will not always chide, nor does he keep his wrath forever. O oh, bless the Lord, my soul. As a father has compassion on, on his children, so the Lord has compassion on those who fear him, for he knows how we are formed remembers that we are dust. O oh, bless the Lord, my soul. But the kindness of the Lord is from eternity to eternity toward those who fear him, and his justice towards his children among those who keep his covenant. O oh, bless the Lord, my soul. Hallelujah, hallelujah, hallelujah. Blessed are you, Father, Lord of heaven and earth. 
for you have revealed to the little ones the mysteries of the kingdom. Alleluia, alleluia, alleluia. The Lord be with you. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Matthew. Glory to you, O Lord. At that time, Jesus responded, I give praise to you, Father, Lord of heaven and earth, for although you have hidden these things from the wise and the learned, you have revealed them to the childlike. Yes, Father, such has been your gracious will. All things have been handed over to me by my Father. No one knows the Son except the Father, and no one knows the Father except the Son, and anyone to whom the Son wishes to reveal him. Come to me, all you who labor and are burdened, and I will give you rest. Take my yoke upon you and learn from me, for I am meek and humble of heart, and you will find rest for yourselves, for my yoke is easy and my burden light. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Today the Church celebrates the memorial of St. Catherine of Siena. Again, as I said at the beginning of Mass, the first woman and the first lay person to be named a doctor of the Church. She lived in uh, the 1300s, and she became a tertiary of the Dominican order, devoting her life at home to prayer and to study. St. Catherine once famously said, Become who you were created to be, and you will set the world on fire. And I think that that is kind of a very nice sentiment, and we can look to it in our own lives. But I think we need to go deeper than the world would have us look at it. It's very easy to hear that statement and to say, oh, well, I'll be the best teacher I can be. I'll be the best lawyer I can be. I'll be the best doctor that I can be. I'll be the best firefighter I can be. I'll be the best grocery store worker I can be. I'll be the best, you name it, that I can be. And I'll set the world on fire. It's a very basic acknowledgement of that statement. Because that's ultimately not who we're, we were created to be. God created each of us for the sole purpose of being with him in heaven, of being called to sainthood. Again, a saint is anyone who's in heaven, so everybody who's in heaven is a saint, whether we know their names or not, and we're all called to sainthood. Sainthood isn't just for some, or just for a few elect or the chosen. We've all been created to be saints. We're all called to be saints. Sainthood, heaven, that's what we were created to be. So become who you were created to be, and you will set the world on fire. Who each of us, who each of you were created to be, is a saint. Become a saint, and you will set the world on fire. Now maybe the means of your sainthood is through being a doctor or a teacher or a lawyer or a grocery store employee. Perhaps. But ultimately, your big V vocation, whichever that is that God has called you to get to heaven, is limited really to three priesthood, religious or consecrated life, and marriage. And so we look at that way in which God has called us to live, and then to live our earthly job or career in the context of that, and that's who we were created to be. We were created by God for the sole purpose of being with him in heaven. May we all strive to become who we were created to be. May we all strive to become saints. And through living this life in such a way that by the grace of God, brings us to heaven in the next, we will set the world on fire. Let us pray. We pray for Pope Francis, for Cardinal Sean, and all bishops, priests, and deacons of the church. We pray to the Lord. We pray for the world. We pray for healing in our world, for the end of the coronavirus, and for all those working to bring a healing and an end to it. In a special way, we pray for doctors, nurses, hospital workers, healthcare technicians, all those in the healthcare field, thanksgiving for their service, that God continue to keep them safe and bless their work. We pray to the Lord. We pray for all emergency personnel and first responders, that God who put them on the front lines may keep them safe. We pray to the Lord. We pray for families. We pray for those who are unemployed or underemployed those who are feeling additional stress and hardship of this time, we pray to the Lord. We pray for an increase in vocations to the priesthood, religious, and consecrated life, and to sacramental marriage, 
especially from our family and friends, we pray to the Lord. We pray that all Christians, and indeed all people, may rise up and become those persons they were created to be, that they may become saints, and by the witness of their life, by their sainthood, will set the world on fire. We pray to the Lord. We pray for all those who have died. We pray in a special way for the repose of the soul of Bishop Emilio Alloway, for all of our beloved dead. May they know God's mercy for eternity in the kingdom of heaven. We pray to the Lord for each of the intentions which you bring to this Mass. We pray to the Lord. Almighty and ever-living God, we ask you to hear and grant our prayers as they accord with your will. For we unite our poor prayers to those of the Immaculate and ever-glorious Virgin Mary and to St. Catherine of Siena. And speak them in the name of your Son, our risen Lord Jesus Christ. Amen. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the bread we offer you. Fruit of the earth and work of human hands will become for us the bread of life. Jesus, we pray as we sing. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the wine we offer you. Fruit of the vine and work of human hands will become our spiritual drink. In the gift this day as we say amen. Pray, brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. Lord, accept the sacrifice from my hands, O God, and Lord, give me the strength and the love of Holy Church. Accept, O Lord, the saving sacrifice we offer in commemoration of St. Catherine, so that, instructed by her teaching, we may give ever more fervent thanks to you, the one true God, through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks, Lord Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God. For in the saints who consecrated themselves to Christ for the sake of the kingdom of heaven, it is right to celebrate the wonders of your providence by which you call human nature back to its original holiness and bring it to experience on this earth the gifts you promise in the new world to come. And so with all the saints and angels, we praise you as without end we acclaim. Holy, 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 Lord God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, and all you have created rightly gives you praise. For through your Son, our Lord Jesus Christ, by the power and working of the Holy Spirit, you give life to all things and make them holy. And you never cease to gather a people to yourself, so that from the rising of the sun to its setting, a pure sacrifice may be offered to your name. Therefore, O Lord, we humbly implore you, by the same Spirit, graciously make holy these gifts we have brought to you for consecration, that they may become the body and blood of your Son, our Lord Jesus Christ, at whose command we celebrate these mysteries. For on the night he was betrayed, he himself took bread, and giving you thanks, he said the blessing, broke the bread, and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body which will be given up for you in a similar way when supper was ended he took the chalice 
and giving you thanks, he sent the blessing and gave the chalice to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. When we eat this bread and drink this cup, we proclaim your death, O Lord, until you come again. Therefore, O Lord, as we celebrate the memorial of the saving passion of your Son, his wondrous resurrection and ascension into heaven, and as we look forward to his second coming, we offer you in thanksgiving this holy and living sacrifice. Look, we pray upon the oblation of your church, and recognizing the sacrificial victim by whose death you will to reconcile us to yourself, Grant that we who are nourished by the body and blood of your Son and filled with his Holy Spirit may become one body, one spirit in Christ. May he make of us an eternal offering to you so that we may obtain an inheritance with your elect, especially with the most blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, the blessed Joseph, her spouse, with your blessed apostles and glorious martyrs, with St. James, St. Catherine, and with all the saints on whose constant intercession in your presence we rely for unfailing help. May this sacrifice of our reconciliation, we pray, O Lord, advance the peace and salvation of all the world. Be pleased to confirm in faith and charity your pilgrim church on earth, with your servant Francis, our Pope, and Sean Patrick, our Bishop, his auxiliary bishops, the order of bishops, all the clergy, the entire people you have gained for your own. Listen graciously to the prayers of this family whom you have summoned before you. In your compassion, O merciful Father, gather to yourself all your children scattered throughout the world. Remember that you are servant Bishop Emilio, whom you have called from this world to yourself, Grant that he who was united with your son in a death like his may also be one with him in his resurrection. And from the earth he will raise up in the flesh those who have died and transform our lowly body after the pattern of his own glorious body. To our departed brothers and sisters too and to all who are pleasing to you at their passing from this life, give kind admittance to your kingdom. Here we hope to enjoy forever the fullness of your glory and you will wipe away every tear from our eyes. For seeing you, our God, as you are, we shall be like you for all the ages and praise you without end. Through Christ our Lord, through whom you bestow on the world all that is good. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. At the Savior's command and formed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days that by the help of your mercy we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. When the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you, but not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant your peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, grant us peace. Behold the Lamb of God, behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. God in some humans and trust of suffering and for counting the of death and all eternal life. Corpus Christi Custodi in Angel
prayer of spiritual communion for those who cannot now receive. My Lord Jesus, I believe that you are truly present in this most blessed sacrament. I love you above all things and I desire you in my soul. Since I cannot now receive you sacramentally, come at least spiritually into my heart. As though you have already come, I embrace you and unite myself wholly to you. Keep me always faithful to your commandments and never permit me to be separated from you. Amen. If we walk in the light as God is in the light, then we have fellowship with one another, and the blood of his Son, Jesus Christ, cleanses us from all sin. Alleluia. Let us pray. In the heavenly table at which we, are, which we have been fed, O Lord, confer eternal life upon us, as even in this world it nourished the life of St. Catherine, through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. May Almighty God bless you and your families, the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Go in peace, glorifying the Lord by your life. Thanks be to God. Regina Tribulatore, Alleluia. Quia quemeruisti portare, Alleluia. Resurrectit sicut dicti, Alleluia, ora pro nobis Deum, Alleluia. Rejoice and be glad, O Virgin Mary, Alleluia. The Lord has truly risen, Alleluia.